welcome to instructional videos. Today we are going to set up the radius glow. So first thing you want to do is remove all the parts from this convenient carry case. To set up the radius glow, we're going to build the bottom and top of the display separately and then put them together. So I'm going to start with the bottom of my display. So the bottom has the feet and what you're going to do is using the smallest included wrench, hex wrench and wrench, you're going to match up the numbers on the corner with the numbers on the bottom of the display. So I got my numbers matched here and you're going to remove the screw from one of the corners. And you're simply going to slide in the corner Once the corner is completely slid in, you're going to take the screw and feed it through the hole on the display. And then using the washer and the nut, you're going to secure it into place on the back side. Using the included tools, you're going to tighten the screw into place. Once you have the screw tight, you're going to repeat the same steps for the other corner. Now that you have the corners attached to your bottom piece, you're going to remove the screws from the top portion of the corner and we're going to attach one of the sides. So I'm going to remove my screw and then matching up the numbers on my piece with the number that's located on the corner, I'm just going to slide my piece in. And as you're sliding it in, you want to be careful not to pinch the power cord that is hanging off of the piece. Once you have it slid in, you're just going to replace the screw. and then using the tool secure into place. Once I have it tightened, I'm just simply going to plug the power cord of the side into the power receptor on the bottom of the display. I'm going to repeat these exact same steps for the other side. Now that I have the sides connected to the bottom of my display, I'm ready to attach the brackets that will be used to connect the top portion of the display. So using the long brackets and the larger hex wrench, we're simply going to loosen the two screws that are side by side. You're just going to loosen them just a little bit. And then you're going to simply slide the bracket down the channel and you're going to slide it in about halfway and then using the wrench, you're just going to tighten the screws to hold this piece in place. And then I'm going to repeat these steps for the other side. Now I have the bottom of my display together and I'm just going to set it off to the side. And now I'm ready to put together the top portion of my display. And we're going to repeat the exact same steps that we did for the bottom. So I'm going to match up the numbers on the edge of my lights to their corresponding corner pieces. And then using the tools, I'm going to secure it into place. Now that I have the top portion of my display together, I'm ready to attach it to my base. So I'm simply going to lift up the top portion and you're going to align the numbers and slide the top portion over the brackets that you've already attached to the bottom of your display. Once you have the top portion of the display slid on, you're just going to use the hex wrench and secure it into place with the screw. So I'm just going to tighten the screw. And then you're also going to connect the light cables. So I'm just going to connect these together. And I'm going to repeat for the other side. And the last thing you're going to connect to the frame is the support bar. So using the included hex wrench and two screws, we're just going to screw the bar in the middle of the display. So I'm just going to use the screws. You're just going to align it on the hole and secure it into place. So once you get the support bar secured into place on one side, you're going to repeat the steps for the other side. Now you have your display hardware completely put together. Next, we're going to attach the graphics. So to attach the graphics, I'm gently going to lay down the display. 
So to attach the graphics, I like to work in a diagonal pattern. So I'm gonna attach the top corner, and I'm just going to press the SEG into the slot. Once I attach the corner, I'm just going to push the SEG in both directions. And then I'm going to work opposite corner. I'm going to repeat the exact same steps. And then I'm going to work across. And then finally, the top corner. Once I have all the corners attached, then I will work down the straight portion of the display. So I'm just gonna work across my display. And then I'm gonna work down the sides. Now that I have my graphic attached, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps for the other side of my graphic. Now that I have my graphic completely installed, I'm ready to stand my display up into standing position. And the last thing we're going to do is connect the power cord. So to connect the power cord, you're simply going to slide the power cord end into the cord attached to the display. So I'm just gonna match up the prongs, push them together, and then I'm just gonna tighten it into place. and then plug your display into an outlet. It is just that easy to set up your radius glow.